Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, grad of phi. So, first thing we need to do is define phi. Well, phi can be some function of x, y, and z in this particular case. So, the grad of phi, or sometimes written nabla of phi, will equal, and it'll be delta phi, delta x i, plus delta phi, delta y j, plus delta phi, delta z. Okay, so perhaps if we have an example, if we say phi is equal to x y squared, z cubed, then we can find nabla phi quite simply by differentiating partially first with respect to x and then y and then z. Okay, so if we differentiate phi with respect to x, we'll be left with y squared z cubed, and that's how many i's we'll have. If we were to differentiate phi with respect to y, we would have 2xy z cubed. And then finally, if we were to differentiate phi with respect to z, we would get 3xy squared z squared k. And that would be nabla phi or grad of phi. Okay, let's do another example. What about if phi is equal to some function of, let's have three independents again, perhaps x, y, and z, and we'll have phi equal to x squared y squared z minus 4 x cubed y z. So, if we wish to find grad phi or nabla phi, we would simply start off by differentiating partially with respect to x, which would give 2x y squared z minus 12 x squared y z i and now of course differentiate with respect to y which would give 2 x squared y z minus 4 x cubed z j and then finally differentiate partially with respect to z to get our coefficient for k. Okay, so we would have x squared y squared minus 4x cubed y. 